loading. Here we go. I wasn't aware this was a Square Enix game. I have no idea what this is, if it's good or not. This is the story of an abandoned young girl who in the early hours one morning was discovered by a highly intelligent octopus named Blister. Blister took pity on this orphan child and decided to take her under his caring tentacle and fondly named her Scary Girl. He swam leagues under the murky ocean to find fashionable items of clothing to dress her and used his expert skills in carpentry to build her a dream home. As years went by, Scary Girl and Blister grew closer and enjoyed discussing the secrets of the universe and other esoteric subjects long after the sun had set. But Scary Girl was haunted by a recurring dream that neither Blister nor she could decipher. That was until, one evening, an enchanting tune was heard below her home, arousing her curiosity. Inside a warm hollow sat a giant rabbit and a curiously eggish sidekick. If anyone could understand the disturbing vision of the bearded man haunting her dreams, was it this guru-like bunny? A journey, responded the overgrown rabbit in a trance-like tone. See for yourself. The past and future lie beyond this peninsula, in a great city. Scary Girl. This is a 2011 game, I think. I think it's on the PSN. <clears throat> Probably on PC too. Um, like I said, I have no idea whether this is good or not. It's just a side scrolling platformer type of game. Figure I'll play it for a little bit, see if it's scary, see if it's any fun. Okay, we've got an interactive menu, downloadable content, level. Look at collection onion ball. What is an onion ball? Time to teach you the skills you need to save the tree of knowledge. First, let's learn okay, how to good. perform combos. Try using a combination of light and heavy attacks to perform a 10 hit combo. Alright, so this is just a little training stage. Combos, got it. Good. You'll notice enemies can be hit into the air with certain attacks. Use a heavy attack on the hedgehog to launch them, and continue to attack them while they are in the air. Air juggle a hedgehog three times before it okay. hits the ground. Got a sort of God of War controls. A square triangle. Pick them up. Button mash. Hack and slash. Okay, we can grab them and throw them. Okay. Excellent job. Let's move on to grapple attacks. Grab a stunned enemy and hurl it at the target. Destroy all of the targets to proceed. I missed that one. The controls are not super Fantastic. intuitive. Now try grappling an enemy and using him as a weapon. Grapple an enemy and perform a light attack to smash them uh, into another enemy. Do I have to hold it? Yeah, okay. I 
I just I f it kind of feels like her little tentacle or whatever that is should be longer. Okay, I can block with L2. Alright. Can I just do that forever? No. Block will not work if held too long. Well done. Remember these lessons. Okay, let's play. Let's go. Simple enough. Ooh, I'm a dreamer. Uh, yeah. Scary Girl was awoken by a loud knocking coming from outside her window. Blister describes his findings of large dead leaves found on the beach. He asks Scary Girl to seek out the Tree of Knowledge and investigate as to why these leaves are being found. Our journey begins in the haunted owl forest, and Scary Girl has prepared for her adventure ahead. All right. It's a tweaked out looking owl. I guess owls kind of always look like that. Uh, but yeah, okay, here we are. We can go left. No, there's nothing that way. Oh, can sort of hover. Yeah, I can jump. Press and hold the jump button to hover through the air. Perform light and heavy attacks to defeat foes. The sound design is quite nice. I like this little keyboard when I pick these things up, these little notes. That all the little howls and things in the background. Very nice ambient spookiness. And it looks cool too, you know? It's got a nice little graphic style, art style. I'm getting sort of limbo vibes a little bit. That maybe, even though it's slightly cartoony, there's a very much darker, serious theme underneath it all, but I'm not really sure. The octopus, I feel like the octopus sort of kidnapped me, uh, and now he wants me to find out why leaves are coming up on the beach. Defeat the black weed I mean, and quickly pull it from the ground to prevent it from leaves growing just back. Blow around all over the place. Why does he need a reason? All right, how do I? Okay. Not sure what, what this collecting these things do, but I'm gonna try and get them all for the moment, or at least the ones that I can get, without running into these little. I guess he said these were hedgehogs. That's it. Wow. Okay. That was pretty simple. Mm. I'm not a big fan of scores. You know, if it doesn't... If I can't do anything with it, then what's the point? Yeah, no, I'm not connected, so... Wandering deeper into the night in the haunted owl forest, the moon cascaded twisting shadows around abandoned lumber mills. There's also another game kind of like this. I think it was called Trine? Or Twine? It has the sort of storybook um, narration thing. Okay, you can vault, or, uh, what do you call that? I don't know. Yeah, already there's some, uh, escalating platform elements here. Oh. Can't quite. 
right. I don't know about the the jump feature is kind of it's all, it feels a little awkward. Like there should be a double jump, but the she kind of does extend the jump when you hold it down. Um, Probably just have to get used to it. No, not this again. I already did this. Come on. Yeah, I, I just skipped that part. I mean, I had to play it, but I just edited it out because... I don't know. That's bad game design. If you're going to have the tutorial available in the menu screen for me to select, then you should at least let me be able to skip it if you're going to force it in the game. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I can buy moves. Uh, grappled. Gives a small thing of health. That seems useful. Hook. I don't have enough for this stuff, so... But okay. You can get other weapons. Vinyls. Not sure what that is. Uh, I don't want to waste my money on that. Yeah, let's go for this. So I can grab the enemy, smash them, and get some health. It seems pretty good. Twinkling objects indicate items that Scary Girl can swing on. Here, let's try out that new move. Okay, did that work? Or... Couldn't tell. To get my health. Okay, it does come back. But there's a weird delay. Kind of annoying. But that seems useful to have. I mean, especially considering it destroys it destroys the enemy and causes an explosion. I mean, that seems pretty powerful to me. And is there a reason for... Filling your rage oh, meter wow. allows you to temporarily transform Scary Girl into an unstoppable force. Okay, this is creepy. So this really is kind of got the God of War feel to it. That sort of Spartan rage, the... Invulnerability, go crazy. It's always fun. She had some weird, like, smoke monsters come out or something. Yeah, I really like the sound. The music. Just all the creepy crawlies in the background, whatever that noise is. So yeah, that's the atmosphere. But yeah, I mean, it just feels, you know, like a simple, basic side-scroller. Uh, Cobra got me. I can see, you know, that you can upgrade and change things and all that, but the story doesn't really have me too intrigued at the moment. I don't really care. What was this? Heal completely, sure, why not? Oh, thank you. Some paths can split, okay. Well, let's just keep going. Let's not go off into the background. Although, that looks cool, I can see it. In the back there and 
foreground is me. I don't know if I can. I'll be able to go back that way at some point, or if this is just one way or the other. to avoid getting hit. There we go. I don't know what those things were. There's quite a few different uh, collectibles and it's not clear to me yet what everything does. Like how do I refill my rage meter? Just keep killing enemies. Green things in the top left. Oh, that's my combos, I see. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is pretty much it. I feel like it's okay. Yeah, I think that's enough. It's not bad. Um, it's just kind of boring. I don't know. Um, maybe the story gets more interesting. I'm sure it changes the scenery up and things. And get a little more in-depth with the combat, but I think you kind of get the point, so I think that's all for now. Uh, if you do want to see more, let me know, though. I, I, I'm always down to, to showcase more if people like it. This is not a game. Looking ahead, Scary Girl has seen a twisted tree older than time itself. She knows the top of it would be a great place to catch an umbrella seed to the old yeah, I would, man mountains. It's okay. It's it's just I'm not really super into it. <laughs> so okay, yeah. So that's scary girl, not super scary, but does fit the Halloween theme.